Did you know that the global production of sugar exceeds 100 million tons annually across 121 countries? In fact, it's one of the top five soft commodities in the world. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Sugar. In the last video, we explored what diabetes is and how it works at a fundamental level. We also established that every single cell inside of our body requires a non-stop supply of two things, oxygen and sugar. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to watch it first so this video will be easier to understand. Today we will explore how food, and specifically sugar, can be part of an effective diabetes management plan. Sugar comes from the things we eat or drink. When we eat food, our stomach's job is to pour acid on that food and digest it to its simplest form, called glucose. That glucose then gets absorbed into your bloodstream through your stomach and small intestines. Our stomach does not care what we eat. Whether you eat carrots or carrot cake, it will do its job and break that food down to glucose that will be used by the body. One of those foods, though, has way more glucose or sugar than the other. And for someone with a disease of balancing sugar, aka diabetes, carrot cake will present a much larger challenge to this process. For people with diabetes, it would be nice to know how much sugar is in the foods that we eat. And luckily, we do. They're called carbohydrates, or carbs for short. There are two types of carbs. One we call simple carbs. These are the things that taste sweet and are made of refined sugar. When we eat these, we see a very rapid rise in blood sugar. The other type of carbs are complex carbs. They're called this because the sugars are tightly bound together. When we eat these types of foods, it takes the stomach much longer to digest these carbs, and it causes a much more gradual but significant increase in our glucose readings. The first and most important thing that we treat diabetes with isn't medication. Medications. It's our food choices. When we understand what we are eating, the rest becomes much easier. So how do we understand our food choices? Well, we are lucky to have the technology to be able to show us how the sugar inside of the foods that we eat affect our glucose without having to guess or count carbs. And we do this with something called the Dexcom G7 CGM system. It's an amazing little sensor that you place on the back of your arm and it continuously measures your glucose and sends that number right to your smartphone or receiver. A sensor Actually, you can see your glucose in real time and use that information to see how your food choices affect your glucose readings. For example, when you eat a meal and your glucose spikes and stays real high, that's an indicator that food was too challenging for your body. If you ate a different meal and your glucose level remained very consistent, that means your body was better able to handle what you ate. When a person with diabetes is able to see their glucose level at any given moment, that person is able to make more informed decisions about what they eat and develop an understanding of how certain foods affect their body. This can help lead to better glucose management. Look out for my next video and we will learn how activity impacts our blood sugar and is an important part of every diabetes management plan.